Well, hello, my friends. I appreciate you joining us again today. Today, I'm going to look at the first major crisis that the early church in the book of Acts had. Now, we're not talking about a crisis from outside because we know there was persecution that came uh, when Stephen was killed and the church was scattered. But I'm talking about a crisis within the church, a doctrinal crisis. And it was a crisis that I believe that there is still exists today within uh, the, the religious world. And that is additions to salvation. You see, there was a group uh, uh, of the Pharisees that had accepted Christianity or accepted Jesus, but they believed that you must be circumcised if you're going to be saved. In other words, they were adding that to the faith in Jesus. You've got to be circumcised. Well, it was so tense and the crisis became such that they had to have a council. In Acts chapter 15, the disciples and the church council came together and they addressed this issue. And the result was that you do not have to be circumcised. You don't have to add other things and the traditions in order to be saved. In fact, Paul, it, when he wrote later on to the Ephesians in chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. See, there's people today that believe that you can work your way into the kingdom, or you can pay your way or buy your way into the kingdom. But I can tell you, my friends, it's important to give. We give tithes, offerings, alms, and first fruits, and it's important. These are all biblical, but they do not save us. You can do great deeds and, and to help other people. And those things are important. They are part of the Christian way of life. But those things will not save us. And many years ago, I had one of my distant relatives that were part of another religious group. And I remember them as, in a, as a younger person. I remember them making a statement. They said, well, I've got, done my good deed for the week. And what I interpreted from that was, they felt good about themselves because they had done a good deed. But I can tell you, friends, that good deeds do not get us into the kingdom of God. Only through faith in Jesus Christ and loving him and believing that he has forgiven us when we confess our sins. The scripture says he's faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins. And we've got to trust in him to forgive us of all of our sins. Only his grace, his mercy. So my friends... I want to encourage you today. Don't, don't believe that your money or your good deeds are going to get you into the kingdom. It's only through faith in Jesus Christ. God bless you. I want to encourage you to be with us tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to deal with a very important subject. I'm going to deal with COVID-19 tomorrow. And so I want you to join with us. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.